15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Let's go! Yo, uh, 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. I gotta adjust this camera for this short guy. Uh, He's so short. Right, y'all stay with this clip. Shout out to my man, Unc. 15 Minutes of Fame, you feel me? I hear Dan being in the building. I came to drop 30 on your man since I said I wasn't gonna talk too much shit, but they gave me a Vic tonight, you feel me? So how, you know what I always wanna ask too is, uh, before the battle, like you talk a lot of shit, what happens at, after the battle when you don't show up 100%? I don't know what that's like. I always bring three solid rounds. Every time you see Ty Law, it's three solid rounds. It's quotables every battle. I, could, I mean, you feel me? First seen me, I had to smack white boys off the debut. Then I came with a downright square on the next one. You feel me? I got quotables and three solid rounds every time. I don't know about that. And, and choking. You're not, a, you're not a choke artist, right? Right, not like my opponent who stunk it up last time. You feel me? He choked every round. If he choked the night, it's over, though. I don't want to jinx it, though. I was talking shit about the vest choking and I, and I had a little slip up after that, you feel me? But I hope Cicero really brings it tonight, man. I don't think he a choke artist, though. I think he, he just let the nerves get to him a little bit. I'm going to say classic or casket, man. So you, you will say he's a credible opponent, though. It ain't like you just taking the battle. Definitely, definitely a real lyricist, you know what I'm saying? A lot of battle rappers, when you put a beat on, they don't know what to do when you put a beat on. Cicero's a real rapper, you feel me? I got respect for Cicero. I just feel like it's a different era though. And this battle shit moves real quick, you feel me? Some shit that was hot in 2010 and be whack right now. That's a fact. And he's stuck in 05. I'm gonna just show the difference between the old. You are one of the most popular PGs. I appreciate that. Um, but it seems like your career has been like it's it's been like in nimble. Like like you yeah, you know, I dip my foot in, dip my foot out, you right? Feel me? go deal with life and shit, but that's why I'm changing this year. I'm trying to get on my grind. I'm trying to take way more battles. I got a battle today. I got DNA in three weeks in DC. You feel me on March 26th. And then I got a battle in Detroit by that. Then I'm trying to take as many battles as possible this year. I feel like I'm letting the fans down doing that shit. Well, do you think taking as many battles as possible is a good thing for the fans, or could it be a bad thing if you oversaturate yeah, yourself? I'm gonna be smart with it though. I'm not just gonna take anything. I'm gonna take more looks though. No more turning shit down, that's a good look, you feel me? But I feel like also I got the punchline crown from Magic. He's done, you've seen his fall off after that. I gotta hold it, man, I gotta hold it, man, you feel me? So I'm trying to take out Rum Nitty, I'm trying to take out New What's a lot of moves to make. I can't just sit around no more. I'm trying to make a strong run for the 2016. So you're not just taking anybody. There's gotta be some some good people so you can, you know. Yeah, but it gotta be good, I give shots too. See, I scout out everybody, you feel me? So if I feel like you fired, and I might have the batting in the future, I might just nip that in the bud too. I see a lot of rookies out here that's killing it right now. I'm, I'm scouting them, I might have to nip that in the bud. I don't want to say they name no, because then they going to diss me in their next battle and shit. Try to think that's the way to get a shot. But I'm giving shots too though. So, now you haven't made it to the big stage yet. Am I right? <laughs> the big stage, right, where the worst battles happen, right? The nah, worst battles. <laughs> I'm interested in good battles, man. Like, I don't look at that shit as a, as a you know what I'm saying, a prerequisite or nothing. But it's, if, if I battle can see it, that's definitely going to be on the stage. I'm definitely shooting for that. Me and Magic was going to be on the big stage, too, but I'm happy we did it in Black Star. You feel me? Oh, that, yeah, that was a classic battle, man, and, and a very anticipated battle, too. Yeah, you so. know what else? That was the last battle that went down at Black Star 2 before they shut down, so that's really a classic. Hosted by Lola Lux and Hollow the Don, the legends, you feel me? Oh, wow, I didn't know they shut down. Yeah, they shut down. Wow. The legendary Black Star. And, and y'all had the last battle, like you said, with Hollow and Lux hosting actually hosting it. Wow, yeah. wow. That, that, that shit meant a lot for me right there. And I feel like I took the crown that day from that. So now, now they got rookies versus vets too. Right, right. Are you on the card? I might hop on that card and rookies versus sophomores. To be honest, I don't get caught up in the titles and shit. Like, am I a rookie? Am I a sophomore? I'm just show up and do work. Give y'all a good battle, man. You feel me? Yeah, because of how your career has been going, it's hard to say if you're exactly. a sophomore or if you're a little different anyway. Like, yeah. You know what I'm so. Are you looking forward to actually solidifying yourself in battle rap? Or you, I mean, I know you yeah, said you're going to start definitely. taking a lot more battles, but do that this year. you don't have a position. Yeah, that's what I need at the end of 2016, position, you feel me? I need to be in that top five style. I feel like I'm, I'm good enough with the bars. I just got to get a little bit more active, you feel me? Get my feet wet a little bit, because none of these dudes can't out-rap me. They ain't out-rap me yet. 
But what about performance? Your performance is not the best. That's what they say. I've been in the dungeon working on that. We're going, we're going to uh, debut a new performance tonight. Bro. New performance tonight. Yeah. Okay, okay. I gave y'all a glimpse in the magic battle. You feel me? We're going to debut a new one tonight, though. I'm hitting the stage, too. We're on the stage tonight. Because they say bards without performance is good, but it just doesn't, you know, yeah. entertain the crowd. Enough. They always going to say you missing something or something. They don't like. I don't like his haircut. Oh, it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to come with the performance. They're going to say something else they don't like about me. I'm going to keep on innovating on elevating, man. That's what I'm about, elevation. What about props? Would you ever use a prop? <laughs> Would I use a prop if it made sense? You might see a prop on March 26 against DNA. You feel me? You never know. But he's known for the props. I might pull a bulletin board out or something. You never know, man. But now I'm known for the bars, though, really. You feel me? I'm now, about to, I'm from the old school, like I said, I've been doing this. Now wait a minute, you said March 26? Mm -hmm. March 26 is um, double, impact. double Impact. Then they trying to do the impossible, he trying to be Superman, but see, that's some legendary status shit right now. He got Tay Rock on his ass right now, and served by the flame on then he gonna come deal with that pressure, and then come deal with me in the DMV. If he could pull that off, respect to him. So who's what? Who's first? I love easy wins, though. I'll say that. Is it Double Impact first, then he comes see you, or is yeah. he seeing you and going double to Double Impact? Double Impact is a little bit later. We live two hours away. He can make that trip. You feel me? Me and DNA not going on to the nighttime. So he's going to have plenty of time to make that trip. So he'll probably he do Double bars, Impact. Last minute, impact hmm. do. He can write on the ride like how they do. You feel me? Hmm. Right, let's go sit the last minute. All right, that's gonna be some uh, some some gangster shit for him to do a two on a two and then see Ty Law in the right. same day. And he going against all savage. You gotta salute that. Yeah. DNA is trying to do the impossible right now. Salute the DNA. That's legendary shit right there. But we gonna come out and put a good show on for the city though. I think the people gonna love it. Love, we, we fuck with DNA and DNB though. We wanna see him live. You feel me? Okay. And uh, you you think you gonna kill DNA or? It's just gonna be a good battle. DNA is sick. Now DNA, I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not gonna talk reckless how I talked about sis. He's getting smoked. But now nah, DNA could know how to win a battle. I got all respect for DNA. You feel me? That's gonna be a tough fight. That's gonna be a tough fight. But I'm definitely going for blood though. If he slacks up at all, it's gonna be ugly. But I know he's gonna come fight with me though. Shout out my man Uncle Ra. 15 minutes of fame. Ty Law, listen and watch DNA in the fucking building. You already know. My man. I mean, what happened? No ups. Well, with the, um, so the footage and brought you and brought you in. What happened? Um. Okay. Let's let's be let's be real. That's the only way I know to keep it to be honest. Would you be willing to admit, if so, that that Jersey was a choke the first time, and you said Jersey, <laughs> and people 